Steakhouses. It's a competition on the high seas that everyone wants to win. And in this episode, we're turning up the heat at Fahrenheit 555. Welcome to Dining on Deck. Let's start with sea salt. That's right, Carnival lets you decide from six different sea salts to season your steak with. Okay. Any recommendations? So, um, it depends what you like. This one, the spicy sriracha salt, it just like gives a kick. It's not like really spicy. Black lava course green gives like a charcoal taste, like a burn taste. French fleur de sol is famous among the chefs and it's closest to the table salt. Pink Himalayan salt is the one from Himalayan mountains. Red Hawaiian is rich with iron and Cypress Lake salt is low sodium salt. Um, I will do the black lava as well. A little okay. char on there. Time yeah. black lava. Thank you. Welcome. Compliments from the chef is always a unique bite. It was like a mushroom cappuccino sauce inside of a tapioca bubble placed on a sweet granola. All right, Paradise Crew, so this is a mushroom cappuccino with a milk foam. Comes on a spoon, and I'm gonna try to enjoy this, but it does look very different. So if I get a fork here and I smack that, see how bubbly that is, guys? Look at that, isn't that crazy? I don't know how to eat this, but um, we're just going to go in. <laughs> go for it. That's weird. <laughs> 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 it wasn't my favorite bite of the night, but I do appreciate the experimental dining and creativity from our chef. However, the salted pistachio herb butter from heaven was absolutely delicious. Paired with an assortment of breads really made this tasty. The salad was also delicious. The extra pillowy, soft grated Parmesan cheese on the Caesar salad melting in your mouth after each bite was a very nice touch. All right, guys, we are now at the Caesar salad. You enjoying it so far, though? I don't like it. Yes. Yeah, this is pretty good. The sea salt bread is delicious. Oh, yeah, we asked for more bread. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, folks, so here is the tuna tartare. It is supposed to represent an egg yolk on top of a nest. And that egg yolk is a yuzu egg yolk to represent a traditional egg yolk. But what is really interesting is this leche de tigre, which is technically milk of the tiger. So I'm interested to see what all this tastes like. But I think that mushroom is going to represent a little bit of earth. And then you got the nest and the bird. So. It's gonna be pretty cool. I ordered the stuffed mushrooms. They're stuffed with spinach and parmesan, and it comes with a mushroom tea with a parmesan pearl. How crazy is that? He said you can either dip the mushrooms in the tea, or you can eat it like a soup. There's no wrong way. <laughs> Nothing. Blue dip. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> Looks like a marble in there. Tastes like mushroom tea. Good or, or good no, tea? It's, it's good, but it uh -huh. legit tastes like mushroom tea. <laughs> and now for the stars of the show. Steak. Listen, the steak tasted okay. And I know that's not what many of you want to hear, but the texture was a little chewy and it was a bit under seasoned. But if I'm being critical, I'd give it a solid 5 out of 10. And because I know you guys think I hate Carnival, and you want to know what Cullen thinks, his thoughts echo mine coming with a slightly higher score of 6 out of 10. And now for dessert. A lot of restaurants get this wrong, but on the Carnival Horizon, they got it right. We ordered the chocolate globe, and the chocolate sauce was hot enough to melt the globe on contact. And by the looks on my face, you can tell it was delicious. The praline pate was smooth, slightly too sweet, but overall an 8 out of 10. So Fahrenheit 555 on the Carnival Horizon, you're not my favorite specialty dining restaurant. But we did appreciate the experience and I suggest everyone watching to try it out as well. For those of you that have eaten at Fahrenheit 555, what was your experience like? Let others know in the comment section below and I'll respond to a few comments. As always, if you dig the vibes, please subscribe, and if you care, please share, and we'll see you in paradise.